Breaking news is coming in right now. The Supreme Court sets aside the result of the Chandigarh mayor election. The CGI has said, the Chief Justice of India has said, eight invalidated ballots were in favor of the Aam Aadmi Party. The poll officer defaced eight ballots. The poll officer is guilty of serious misdemeanor. Poll officer unlawfully altered the course of the mayor election. A huge charge against the returning officer on your screens there. You saw the video earlier of uh, Anil Masih. A huge charge there by the Supreme Court of India saying he unlawfully altered the course of the mayor election. Poll officer acted outside regulation. So a huge charge being made there against the returning officer Anil Masih who said that he'd made, he acknowledged in court that he'd made certain markings on eight ballot papers during the Chandigarh mayoral election because they were defaced. Today those ballot papers were pulled out in court and the officer was asked to point out how exactly those papers were defaced but he couldn't do so. The Supreme Court now coming down heavily on the returning officer Kanu Sharda is now joining us for more on this. Kanu, tell us more about what the Supreme Court has done as it has set aside the result of the Chandigarh mayor election. Well, Paulumi, the, the Supreme Court has come down heavily on the presiding officer who has uh, uh, invalidated those eight votes which were casted for the AAP Aam Aadmi Party candidate Kuldeep Kumar. Now the Supreme Court has uh, declared that Kuldeep, uh, Kuldeep Kumar would be a winner candidate uh, for the Chandigarh mayor elections and set aside the decision, all decisions taken by the presiding officer Anil Masiya in this case. Uh, as we speak, the order is still being uh, uh, dictated and... Uh, uh, my colleague uh, Anisha Mathur is sending us live updates from there and uh, she said that the, the Supreme Court has issued contempt of court notice to Anil Masi. So uh, clearly a very uh, uh, tough uh, stand uh, taken by the Chief Justice of India against the wrong statement made by the returning officer yesterday wherein he said that he had made those uh, marks on those uh, ballot papers which were... Uh, uh, which were defaced. But uh, to, during the hearing today, when the Chief Justice of India himself has seen all the ballot papers, he found that all the votes were casted in the favour of Kuldeep Kumar and not the way uh, which was projected yesterday by the returning officer. So it is a huge, huge win for the Aam Aadmi Party here and the Mayor uh, post has again gone back to the Aam Aadmi Party. Uh, so Kuldeep Kumar will be the um, Mayor for the Chandigarh Assembly for now. Okay, so that's a big update that's coming in right now. The Supreme Court has declared the AAP candidate as the validly elected mayor of Chandigarh. The Supreme Court sets aside the result of the Chandigarh mayor election earlier. The BJP candidate had been declared the winner. He had been declared as Chandigarh mayor before he stepped down. That was Manoj Sonkar. But now the Supreme Court setting aside that election result and declaring AAP candidate... Kuldeep Kumar as elected Chandigarh mayor. They have said that the eight invalidated ballots were in favor of the Aam Aadmi Party, which were earlier set aside by the returning officer in this uh, case. Uh, that was Anil Masih, who you see on your screens uh, right now. Kanu, will there be any consequences for the returning officer, given how heavily the Apex Court has come down on him and that was something which was uh, in fact demanded by Abhishek Manu Singhvi who was representing uh, the AAP mayoral candidate Kuldeep Kumar. To, to Anil Masih for, uh, for lying uh, before the top court uh, despite the fact that he was warned that any wrong statement made her would uh, mean so many consequences for him but he still made those statements yesterday and today the contempt of court notice has been issued to him and he has been given time to file its re reply and also uh, uh, the Supreme Court has uh, uh, directed the Chandigarh mayor, uh, mayor to conduct all other uh, elections uh, for the various committees and the standing committees which are required uh, because uh, the, the, the proceedings of the entire assembly was uh, was stayed by the Supreme Court earlier uh, and the budget session of the assembly was also stayed. So now with all the with the new mayor being appointed, Kuldeep Kumar being appointed now, uh, the whole lot of elections and the assembly proceedings which are scheduled to, uh, scheduled to have taken place will take place now.